This is the SOG Power Pint, and it's one of my favorite multi-tools to carry because it helps me to accomplish many different tasks in a lot of different environments while still being affordable. Well, this is the Atlas 24-hour backpack from LA Police Gear, and over the past six months, it's proven itself to have many of the same attributes as a multi-tool. Having easily been able to fill the role as a day pack on my Alpine adventures, tons of organization for an urban EDC bag or get home pack and has functioned as a mobile studio for me on many occasions with my camera gear while still being durable enough to handle a rough and tumble lifestyle as you toss it around your environment while still being affordable and i'm looking forward to unpacking all of the layout as well as design features and capabilities and potentially some limitations that exist in the atlas series to ultimately help you guys determine for yourself if it's the right pack to start putting in your rotations for your environment and scenarios thanks for joining me today guys if you're new to the channel i'm aaron this is gideon's tactical let's go ahead and dive on in now let's look at hydration transportation because this pack has a unique design you don't normally find on assault style packs like this. What you have to do is disconnect your compression strap and then on either side ambidextrously are hidden water bottle pockets with a large zipper that will easily fit a 32 ounce Nalgene or similar sized water bottles. So those will fit in there, the zipper zips up and so you could easily run a hose through on a rigid water bottle hydration system like a hard side. So I really like that feature that you can do on either side of the pack. But if you prefer hydration bladders, there's two separate ways that you can carry them. On the back panel, there are two large zippers that you can open up. This does have a rigid polymer backer that is removable and that's where it gives it some structure and support. This has a floating floor and operates either as a laptop sleeve or it has a little hole up there with a hanger to hang your hydration system. Or you can open up the main compartment, which has a water bottle sleeve, and you can pull that hanger tab through and hang the water bladder that way. And it also includes ambidextrous hose ports for that main compartment. Now, since we're in the main compartment and running these zippers, I will highlight one aspect where you can see some of that affordability coming through and it has to do with the zippers themselves. They're a no-name brand of zipper. It would've been great to have these upgraded to YKK. Now, thankfully, I have, over the last six months, run these and they run real smooth. They've never snagged, never jammed or anything like that. And I have several other branded LA Police Gear products with similar zippers that have never had an issue. And for your data, the polymer clips have all held up really well, no cracking or damage, and they are 25 millimeter HWA sung clips. Now for an affordable pack like this, I was really curious about durability. So over the last six months, I treated this thing like crap, throwing it around the bed of the truck, dropping it down on the ground when I'm done with my hiking and trekking, carrying all those loads. And it's been holding up really well with that 900 denier polyester material that is water resistant. And just to kind of button it all up and make sure my brother and I took a day to really treat it like a football, kicking it, hucking it and throwing it to see if there was any sort of abrasion issues and damage to any parts of the pack. And I'm pleased to report that it's holding up really well. And guys, if you're enjoying this type of content, I do invite you to hit that like button and to consider subscribing, becoming part of the Gideon's Tactical crew here, and make sure to hit that bell icon so that you can be notified every week when I put up new videos just like this. Now guys, I like options and affordability as much as you do. And this Atlas series offers both. The options include three different sizes currently, and they do it by hour. It takes a little bit of effort to figure out what that actually means in literage, but I've done that for you. So there is a 12 hour, there is this pack, which is a 24 hour, and then there's a 72 hour pack. What that means is the 12 hour is roughly 20 liters. This model, the 24 hour is roughly 52 liters. And that's why I went with this size. I felt like it had a lot of the dimensional aspects I was looking for to accomplish the different types of load bearing capabilities I was looking for. And then finally, the 72 hour is a whopping 74 liters worth of volume. So those three capacities are gonna be able to accommodate 
basically any type of load that you can come up with depending on your scenario and environment. And that does give you access to about a half a dozen color combinations, including multi-cam black, your regular black, wolf gray, several different military colors like OD green and coyote tan as well. Now, what about value? I believe that that really brings a lot of people to the table with this Atlas series. The most compact 12 hour is gonna start at $65. This 24 hour is gonna start at $80 and the 72 hour is gonna start at $100. Now that affordability frees up extra cash so that you can focus on the gear and equipment that's going inside the pack and not have it all tied up in the pack itself. And I appreciate LA Police Gear hooking me up with this model so I can test it out over these past several months to show you guys what its capabilities and potential limitations are so that you can make a wise choice. And there'll be links in the description box below this video to the entire Atlas series. Now, as somebody who regularly carries about 30 pounds worth of camera gear, tripods, and other equipment that I'm testing when I'm on trail, I wanted to see how this yoke system and load bearing would work. And this has a very stereotypical assault pack style of yoke that you would expect. No load lifters or anything like that. The good thing is that there is nice mesh and good density on those straps all the way around in tandem with a back channel and good dense foam in four quarters which means that there's a little extra breathability. It's not just like a uh, uh, heavy cloth, you know, that just adds to the sweat factor. So that is a nice feature that not all assault style packs offer. I right, have good long 18 inch straps themselves and that kind of contouring S formation with two clips up here, which are designed to work in tandem with LA Police Gear's chest rig system. So if you wanted to adapt that, that is an option. And then you have elastic straps for water bladder hoses or other attachments and kind of feed that through as well as a Molly compatible ladder system. So you can attach little pouches if you want to that works in tandem with the sternum strap. So it's a ladder system. You place it where you want and it won't move around versus a track system, which is what I, per the, the ladder system is what I prefer, what this has. Uh, and you can also remove the sternum strap, which adds to the versatility. So you can take it off if you're more using it as an EDC pack, and then you can put them back on if you're doing a lot of trekking on trail. And then finally in tandem with that, this does have and comes with a waist strap. A lot of packs don't come with that. You have to pay extra or they don't even have the adaption pieces. It comes with a waist strap just to help cinch it down. It's not load bearing, but that is a nice bonus to have that is also removable. And then it does have the quick release dump clips so that if you were to get caught up on something and you wanted to dump the pack, you can quick release it that way as well. I feel like one of the best innovations in the last decade for the style of pack is the laser cut PALS webbing. And this pack has that. It really just lightens the load, streamlines the whole profile of these designs. And they really thought through putting it right where you need it and not over accessorizing it. You know, some packs, they just have Molly everywhere. And you're like, where would I even, what would I even attach in that area in that location? And it just weighs down the pack. That's not the case. They've put a patch of PALS webbing right there on either side on the exterior of those water bottle pockets that are hidden. So you could put med kits, exterior water bottle pockets, whatever you want right there on either side. Then you have one right up here on that exterior pocket and then one small patch right there on the lower. That's it. That's where the Molly exists. And then in tandem, they put not only drainage holes on the bottom, but four points so that you could lash bed rolls and different things like that on the lower portion of the pack. Now up top here, we have our fleece line sunglass pocket. You gotta love that. I wish every single pack would come with that. I use that for cell phones sometimes, other electronics or eyewear, and it just keeps stuff from getting scratched. So that is accessible right there on the front. We got two large zippers that run nice and smooth on that top pocket that just has two organizer areas right there that you can easily get some stuff in. Now, this is really interesting. Way down here, we do have this little kind of hidden pocket. You could probably stuff like a rain cover. It does not come with one. Uh, or you could put the waist belt in there if you didn't want to use the waist belt. That's actually where I should store it. I just thought of that. So that is a little pocket down there. Then we have our main big exterior organizer that has a lot going on, including secondary pockets in the back. You have magazine pockets to store store uh, 50, 30 round mags if necessary, pen, pen organizers, two separate key attachments, as well as several other dump compartments, including a zipper compartment in there. And that's where you can organize out a whole EDC kit or uh, different types of survival kits that you may want. 
and have it in that organizational pocket. Now, one data point with all these organizational pockets is that all the little compartments and sleeves are a relatively thin nylon. Now, I haven't had any tearing or fraying, but I would have liked to see that nylon maybe doubled up in thickness just to add to the level of durability. Now, as we move to the main compartment again, let's go ahead and open that up. Now, you can open it up about two thirds of the way and the compression straps will hold it there. Then you will have to remove the compression straps and disconnect them in order to completely clamshell this thing open. Now at 52 liters, this thing is massive. You could easily use this for a extended trip with friends and family, traveling, those type of things. Or in my case, it works great to carry large bulky items like my entire camera cube and all of the other gear and supplies that I would need. On the backside, you do have a hook and loop fleece kind of style backer that you could Velcro some different organization to. And then you do have uh, two massive mesh pockets that you can kind of see, and then that you can just organize your larger items in, put smaller organizational packs in that main compartment. So that is where you're gonna store your bulkier items. Now, many assault style packs are very rigid in their body structure because of how dense and heavy the cloth is, that even if there isn't a lot of gear in there, it still holds its shape. Well, the Atlas series isn't quite like that. The material is more flexible, meaning if there isn't a lot of gear in the bag, you will see some of the sides and kind of back uh, sag in on themselves a little bit just because of the flexibility. Now, on the flip side, if you fill out the pack, you get full extension and usability of that material and it will hold that shape well guys, just like how my multi-tool is that jack of all trades instrument that I can just grab and go and I know it's gonna accomplish a lot of tasks for me. I feel like this Atlas series of packs is very similar. It's that jack of all trades pack that I can deck it out in different types of environments for different types of scenarios. And it's going to be able to get the gear to the destination. And I look forward to hearing from you guys. What's your thoughts on the Atlas series, particularly if you own one, how has it been holding up for you? I always appreciate that feedback. And if you guys have any questions that maybe I missed throughout this video. I'll do my best to answer them in the comment section below. I do invite you guys to check out the other video popping up and again to the subscribe if you haven't yet. Thanks for hanging with me today. And until next time, always remember, stay equipped, stay prepared, and I'll see you out there.